so good and you know it's important to also say that this is what we do with money when we borrow money this is where it goes uh, we don't borrow money to pay salaries we don't borrow money to run our overhead we are, we are investing it in infrastructure since 2007 when it came into government governor babatunde rajifasila's administration has been paying special focus on road reconstruction and rehabilitation. The reason for this is not far-fetched. Roads, without any doubt, remains a crucial factor in the state's development. As the nation's commercial, economic and industrial capital, as well as the most urbanized cosmopolitan in West Africa, Lagos' vantage position can be severely threatened by inadequate or dilapidated road infrastructure. For effective socio-economic interaction, roads play an important role in facilitating movements from one end to another. Again, the higher the turnaround time, the higher the volume of goods and services exchanged, then the higher the wealth created. We we'll build infrastructure that we allow 40 million people to live successfully in Lagos State. So when we build the roads, we think of sustaining it for 15, 20 years. That's why the minimum asphalt in Lagos now is 50 for inner roads and 100 for major roads. And then, of course, there is the base cost and the rest. So, but the essence is that we know that the number of people live, that lives in Lagos will keep increasing. Whether you like it or not, people will come and live here. And therefore, we must build infrastructure that can sustain the population that we expect to rise to 40 million in 20, 25 years' time. Because of this enormous benefit being derived from road construction, the present administration, in sustaining this giant stride, is upgrading new network of roads in Ikeja. The first of this is Kodeso Street, right in the heart of the state's capital. Kodeso Street has a very rich and exciting history. Reconstructed into dual carriageway in the 80s, the road connects the popular Obaakran Way which links major manufacturing concerns in Keja Industrial Estate. For some time now, Kodeso Street has caved in to pressure from high volume of vehicular traffic plying the road daily. The dilapidation that set in became a major challenge for motorists and commuters. Rather than facilitate movements, it more or less slows down traffic, limiting travel time and causing considerable inconvenience to its users. I will commend Pasila for this effort. You know, we have tried and you can see the beauty of the road, you know. It's expanding the road for easier movement of our vehicles. So it's okay. It's sort of, we have to commend him for, for that, you know. Even though there are some other areas that need his attention more than this area. It will benefit the people, particularly the commercial, the traders in this area, because it will afford the customers easy access to this place. Either the congestion that we normally experience here is uh, will be a thing of the past. So it is to their own advantage more than to anybody, the traders in this area. Before the starting of this project, the traffic jam here is almost as heavy as this. But uh, we thought that uh, as this type of project is going on, uh, and they facilitate the job uh, according to their schedule time, I think it is we improved than, than this. More importantly, the people attending General Hospital here, you see, it will be helpful if they can finish it on schedule so that uh, we old people like me eh, be more comfortable by passing to my resident. Finish it according to the specification. Eh, it will improve uh, than this. And it will make uh, life more better. The impact of this dilapidation is even more pronounced on business concerns located around and within Kodeso Agris. Loss of man hour and productive time became a daily experience. The failed drainages on this road also added to the problem, as the streets, along with adjoining others, 
do experience perennial flash flooding. This brought very negative effects on businesses. It's a welcome development. Infrastructure development anywhere in the world is a, an economic booster. I believe uh, in a lot of ways it will enhance our business today. To enhance our businesses here, uh, the turnover time for most of the businesses we do, which have been terribly bad in the time past, will have a great boost. People were running away from coming here to do business with us. They would rather go elsewhere because of the traffic situation. The time they spend in trying, the turnaround time, the time coming here and going wherever they are coming from. But I believe with this surrounding network of roads, we go a long way in improving us. So we, we appreciate what the governor is doing. For Governor Babatuli Raji Pashala's administration, restoring Kodesor Street is a major project that holds profound opportunities. By the volume of traffic, access and linkage it provides to other areas including the impact it would have on public health this project will bring tremendous benefits to the economy and to the people of the state the major factor for us is the traffic bearing capacity of a road so meaning a road that people because there are as you know that a lot of people will take so for example when we try to take ekoro ekoro runs across the animosho for example, so people need to take that and then tear off to go to their house. So it makes sense to think that because that's where majority of the traffic will go. We are doing, for example, Nora now. Nora is a major road that allows people to go into their houses. So the uh, capacity or the traffic bearing capacity, then ability for us to find out faults. So like I said, one of the reasons why we do road is not just for for cars; it's also to move water. So you must have an outflow where you will discharge water. So you see that in some cases we do roads and the drainages are longer than the road. It's because we cannot discharge water on the road. We have to find a way. So we must also locate out for. So sometimes when we have a network of road like eight, we choose three. Because if you do the other five, they will be washed off. Because there's no way to discharge. Because some of these days must connect. So in these three we are able to get out for. We do them first. And then come back to this five because we cannot connect the those five to these three and then they can discharge appropriately. So it's a question of how can we discharge water, outfall, traffic bearing capacity, and then accessibility to other infrastructures. It also connects Bankan to Niwe to Obakra and uh, the Dua Carriageway, double lane Dua Carriageway. So it's been expanded with drainage and uh, it's been upgraded. And you know, Ikeja is a, an industrial area of Lagos State. So this project is very, very useful, it's meaningful. It will improve the economy of the local government and by extension of the state. In addition to Kodesor Street, Governor Babatuni Raji Fashila's administration is upgrading the Symbiad Abiola Road, which was formerly known as Medical Road. Again, this is another popular road in this area. As a major bypass from Ikeja bus stop and on the bridge, this road provides access into the airport road as well as the Lagos Abelkuta Expressway through Awuloa Road. Over time, Simbiat Abiola Road, which used to be a single lane road, became inadequate in terms of carriage capacity for traffic flying in. Increase in commercial activities around its location, especially through the dominating presence of traders in mobile phones, computers and allied products, shut traffic volume on this road beyond the roof. In order to accommodate all these factors, provide an infrastructure that will complement the mega business deals in this area and ensure seamless traffic flow, Symbiat Abiola Road is now being upgraded from a one lane to a dual carriageway with complementary infrastructure. Symbia Tabiola, that is medical road, is also a link between the Bankantoni. If you are coming from Bankantoni into Obafemi Aulawo, you know Obafemi Aulawo is also dual carriage, double lane. 
down to Alausa. So, if you are coming from Bankantoni into Abafemi, there's, there's a kind of constriction. So, there's always traffic bottleneck. But with the opening up, it's now being expanded into dual carriage, double lane. So, traffic will flow from Bankantoni into Abafemi, and then the bypass, Adebola, Uduyemi, into Adegemuto Road. So, it's going to ease everything. And of course, you know the computer village is there, an international market. So, there is no doubt that it's going to improve the economy of the local government and all the stakeholders. For me, me, I like what they are doing because at the end of the whole thing, everywhere will be so fine and so beautiful. And then business will be good too. Because when the roads are good, they will come and buy more, you know. So we like what they are doing. The, the man is trying so much. He wants to make things beautiful. He wants to make the roads motorable. Like by the time here will be true now, everywhere will just be fine. The environment will be beautiful. We know it's going to be so. But what we as business people are talking is maybe because of the time. Like since how many weeks now, there is no road here. Everywhere is just blocked. But at the end of the day, we are going to reap the whole thing. Uh, we know it's our own good. And Fatshola is trying. Everywhere is going to look beautiful at the end of the day. In fact, honestly speaking, this man is doing a lot of job. You know, people, most of people complaining, doing demolition shops, doing all this. I'm, I'm one of the people that have shop here. Even my shop was affected by cutting it. But at the end of the day, I used to tell him that what this man is doing, is doing a very good thing. And I know how he can do a good thing without affecting somebody. And if you look at the, uh, this place, and after building this place, after doing it, I discovered that this place was very, very free. And normally before, hold up, used to be here. Medical road is a small road, but now the road there has now expanded. Which can able to can be it can, can be easy for everybody to just to pass. So I'm um, honestly speaking, I I I fact I I I, I praise uh, Fatola and I uh, and secondly, secondly I, I I admire him a lot. So far so good. What the government is doing is is okay to my own understanding. It's part of development. Uh, from my own best of knowledge, I feel this will enable customers to have easy access to the market. I think it's a good thing. I support it. Yeah, the benefit we stand to gain is that it will increase the, the sales of the market. It will help people to come easily and people will no longer complain of traffic or the rest of them. I think uh, based on that, it stand to, we will stand to gain from it. It's going to be a very big benefit to we the business people in this place. If I flash back before the the coming of Fashola's regime. Lagos is nothing to write home about. But thank God for bringing Fashola to Lagos State. He has really done wonders in Lagos State. So many. In fact, Lagos is a different city to what it used to be. When completed, Kodeso and Simbi at Abiola Roads will add to the long list of roads already completed by Governor Babatun the Raji Fashola's administration. Very, too many to mention. There are so many roads. In the last year, we awarded about 183 roads. So, for example, the Asu Road that we awarded in, in uh, the Asu Road, the, road is, the first phase of it is completed. So, many, too, 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 too many roads. Well, things like this have a way of affecting your psyche, the way you do things. Uh, for example, if one were to be littering the roads as you are with refuse, when you see refuses everywhere, the environment, the the ambience of the environment isn't looking too good. We tend to align to that kind of behavior. But now when you see the road well paved and everything looking good, you find it difficult to drop things or refuse there. You know, so it's, it's, it's helped in changing the way our people think. And it helps also, like I said, it is an economic booster, as it were. So that helps in a lot of ways. Apart from the beautiful ambience that it gives is also important. It affects our psyche because you can imagine after a, a day's hard work, you, are, you get involved going home or coming here in the terrible traffic. It has its own effect on you as a person. Having realized the enormous resources being committed to reconstruction and upgrading of roads, 
Governor Babatunde Raji Fashala took the initiative to lengthen the lifespan of these roads. Thus, scheduled maintenance is now fully instituted into every road construction project. This step, it is expected, will help the state government to maximize its investment on this infrastructure and ensure that resources are available to attend to other pressing needs of the government. The, as you know now, the Lagos State Government just set up an agency that is called the Office of Facility Management. The bill is in the House, but there's an office under my ministry that's responsible for maintenance. Maintenance in itself is a science. And what that means really is that you must set templates in order to maintain. And then you notice also that this year, the, 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 the budget circular says that for every agency of government, as you do a capital project, 2.5% of that must be reserved for facility management. That is to maintain whatever you are building. And for education and health, it was actually 7.5 because they have a lot of hospitals, they have a lot of schools. So we are setting templates that will allow us to keep managing what we are building because really that's our future. The construction of Kodeso and Symbiat Abiola Road signifies the mutual collaboration and the cooperation that exists between the state and local government areas. For these two roads, Ikeja local government is a major stakeholder and beneficiary. The two projects are evidence of continuous developmental policies of the state government and will further add value to the local government area. Uh, we are three separate. It's like saying, the, can the federal government sanction the state? No. Constitutionally, we are separate agencies of government. And the issue really is that what are the resources going to local government? I'm not a local government chairman, so I'm, I can't say that I'm speaking for them. But what are the resources that goes to local government, really, in the resource of it? So when you have a federation where about 60% goes to the federal government, what do you want the local government to do? So 56% goes to federal government, 2% ecology, and then 1% to federal capital territory. That's 59% of the total budget goes to them. So is the remaining uh, 41, right, that the states, the 36 of them will distribute, and then the local government. So what quantum actually goes to local government? If the truth is, it's very small. So that's why you saw what happened in Pakistan recently. It was 70, 30 federal and the regions. But they said, as well, listen, federal, what are you doing? They reverse it to 50-50. Has that happened here? So that's the issue, really. The issue of what, what can the local government do realistically? Where, where are the resources to build roads? There's a mutual relationship between the local government. The local government is uh, an extension of the state government. We are one. You know, one flows into the other one. And the Kedja is the capital. And the presence of government, the secretariat, is in Ikeja. So. I cannot expect anything less. In other parts of the state, the ongoing Lagos Badagri Expressway represents a generational shift in public policy formulation and implementation. Its construction is in every sense ambitious. So is its potential to completely transform not just the economy, but also the lives of residents in every community within its axis. The same goes for the ongoing Ipako College Road. Ajao Ejigbe Road, Mile 12 to Korodu Road, amongst many others. Sensible. If we delay the 
destruction of this road until the day when we have money, uh, it would not have done justice to the generations coming ahead. And it's not going to be cheap as we go on. Our money continues to lose value. So by making this investment now, we do today, we pay at our convenience at a very, very uh, uh, controlled interest rate of a maximum 1% in every way in Lagos State, this administration is doing the best possible. In Lagos State, in this country, is the best. The governor is working everywhere, every nook and corner. You see the handiwork of the governor. Over here in Ikeja, the same thing, development. It might be slow, but it's steady. Okay? It, human, you know, human factors. You know, it might be slow, but it's working. Eventually, we will get there. From street to street, community to community, Governor Babatini Raji Fashionals Administration is creating opportunities by linking people, businesses, and potential. The current investment in road infrastructure will no doubt be a catalyst for the emergence of a greater, economically viable and socially mobile Lagos, a state where the dreams and aspirations of its people are met through minimum effort.